Okay, guys. This is kind of like part two on the um, the video that I started. Well, we've been coming and going, and I just had a lot of stuff going on, just to be honest with you. So, today is, what's today? Thursday? Thursday morning. Now, I'm just showing you Possum right now, who's not paying any attention. There she goes. Um, as I talk to you, because I went somewhere yesterday, and if you watched one of my other videos, as soon as you see me this morning, you're going to know exactly where I went yesterday. Yep. Are y'all ready? I just got my cup of coffee. See there? I had hardly taken maybe one sip out of it. Mister's in there sweeping. There's something on the floor in the kitchen, so he's he's getting that up. And um, anyway, well, let me let me let me just turn you around. Possum's just is ignoring you, so let me turn you around. Yeah. Another hair appointment yesterday. I'm telling you, she really does do a good job. She does. She does. I'm telling you. And I told her, I said, remember the last one? And I said, don't put any of that wax hairspray on my head. Because, I mean, I look like a boo, I gotcha. Well, she said, well, let me just put a little bit of mousse in. I said, well, yeah, that's probably okay. Just a little bit of mousse. She just wanted to kind of give it some texture and stuff. And she cut it real short and stuff. Because I asked her, I said, cut it short. Because it's getting hot and summer time is approaching. And and I just don't want to have a bunch of hair on my head. I want to be able to wash it, get out, just kind of go, uh, uh, and be done with it. Well, I slept on last night. I got up this morning. And guess what? I ain't washing my hair right away. I got things to do. I sure heard nobody comes by today to see me. But look at this. This is with, this is called bed head with, with the moose right here in my head. Look at this. Can y'all see this? Mm, mm, mm. But you know, it's just gonna stay like that. Cause I got things to do and I'm gonna let y'all come with me with my bed head and all and we're going to can some butter. I'm trying to get ready. Things are coming. Y'all better wake up. Things are coming. Yep. They say it's pretty easy. So last night, I got my stock pot out. Just get to it. I got my stock pot out. And, you know, you can get those little boxes of butter that has four sticks in them. I was going four sticks. Four sticks in them. Well... I have three, three boxes. Each box is a pound. So I have three boxes of unsalted and three boxes of salted. I mix them together. Because they say, this is my first time canning butter. They say that by other people's experience, that they just use the, um, the salted, just the salted, some, something. I don't know if it happens at the breakdown of the butter. I really don't know that's real salty. So if you just do some the same ratio of salted and unsalted, that it turns out pretty decent. So like I said, I don't know. And um, so I'm going to do that day. But, 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 but what I'm saying is that I ain't had good enough coffee this morning. Is that I did half and half. I did three boxes of unsalted, three boxes of salted. I put it in the stock pot. So, and I put the lid on it. So it will get room temperature and get real real soft and um because we've got to um turn on the heat on low and melt it and let it you know get to a really uh good simmer and then we can put them in our jars and then we can put them in the canner and then they say if you put them in the canner they say um, that it can last up to five years, but you want to keep it in a dark, cool place. I think we're going to put ours up under the bed. In the guest bedroom. Because I just don't want to take any chances. I'm afraid maybe if I put it down in the shed or something, it might get too, too hot in there. 
But anyway, so we're going to do that. So let me have a few sips of my coffee. Go get y'all's coffee. Pull up a chair. And we're going to get this butter in just a minute. But I, got, I can't hardly function this morning. Between the head and no coffee yet. I'm just really having a hard time functioning. And we want that butter to turn out good, don't we? Okay. Well, go get your coffee. Today I'm using hazelnut creamer. You know, I like that Cinnabon. But today, I don't have any more Cinnabon, so I got hazelnut. Mr. likes hazelnut. He usually uses hazelnut 24-7. I mean, he just doesn't change. He just, he just likes that. That's what he likes. That's what he wants. You know, what I like Cinnabon. You know where I like it at? When I open the refrigerator door and it's right there. I'm still on. Sometimes. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. But anyway, let me get my coffee before it gets cold. And um and we'll be back in just a minute. Get your coffee now. Get your hurry, go get your coffee. Okay guys, I got my coffee down, so I've lost part of the segment of the video. I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna kinda tell you what I did. Um I you want to at least, when you start out, have six pounds, no more than that. It just makes it a lot more difficult and easy, uh, more difficult to try to stir in the pot. Uh, I got a big stock pot out and with a lid, and I went ahead and opened up um, the butter, the sticks of butter, because it's so much easier. Open up the sticks of butter when they're all, kind of on the cold side and put it in the a stock pot. Than to rather than to wait and then try to open up a stick of butter when it's melted. Have you ever tried to do that and try to get butter off that piece of paper? Boy, not me. I, I said, no, I'm going to go ahead and do it the easy peasy way. So I went ahead and opened it up, all cartons, and I had three salted and three unsalted and put them in the stock pot and um, I waited till the next morning and they were fine, but I was so glad that I did unwrap each one. So, I mean, if you want to scrape it out, that's fine. You, you do whatever you weigh. But like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is first time Sheila's canning butter. And I just kind of wanted to share it with you and what I did. So let's get on to step two. Okay, everybody, I just want to show you. It's been about five minutes. Can y'all see that? See how it's melting? And I just keep stirring because I don't want it to stick. So you just slowly stir it. And like I said, it's a little time consuming here, but it's okay because we're gonna have some butter, canned butter, guys, that can, uh, if, I, if I do what I'm supposed to do, um, keep it in a cool, dark place, it can last up to, as long as you pressure can it, up to five years. So, prices of stuff going up. Let's go and do this, won't we? So, I'm gonna, I'll come back. I just gotta keep stirring. I'll just wait a few minutes. I'm still sipping on my coffee. You can see I'm just sipping. But anyway, we'll come back as it keeps melting. And uh, this is really easy. It's just a little time consuming. And I'm not trying to teach you to do anything. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. This is not a tutorial. I always tell everybody because this is my first time. And, um, but you know what? Practice makes perfect, right? So we're just going to stick with it with our canning stuff. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, my butter's already melted. It's been on simmer. I still keep stirring it because I don't want I don't want nothing happen to my butter. Butter's expensive. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I also turned on my pressure canner. I've got it like on medium high. I'm trying to get it hot um, because it's going to be hot jars actually, you know, with the butter in it, and I put it in the, the hot water. And plus, it kind of speeds it up just a little bit. So when I start pressure canning. Uh, the jars but anywho uh, so right now what I'm going to do is start pouring let me turn this on low now I'm going to start pouring uh, well not pouring but I got my little ladle I can't find my big one I don't know what happened to it I hope it's not going to take me forever I got my funnel to help me um, you know so the butter is not splashing everywhere I've got me a little um, con little uh, bowl here of vinegar because you know with the butter it's, it's fat it's got fats in them so what you want to do afterwards uh, to make sure oh let me back up i want to make sure that all of my jars i put them through the pressure um pressure the dishwasher and sterilized them so they're nice and clean 
I felt all around the rims, make sure there's no cracks or anything in it because I want this to seal correctly and uh, so I can have butter for, you know, whenever I need some, I can go and get it. However, um, you want to clean your, your um, rims off here and put your lid on and your band, you know, um, not uh, cranking tight, but just finger tight and put it in your um, pressure canner. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Let's get this started. I think this little one's gonna take me forever. Look at that. I gotta find a bigger one. Now you'll see, you can skim off the foam at the top. It's not necessary, uh, but if you wanna do that, you can. So I'm not sure how many pints. Uh, I think, I think when I was watching somebody else do this, I think they had like seven or eight. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. I've got plenty of jars out here, I hope. Now make sure that you have at least an uh, inch headspace. And usually where my funnel is, if I just bring it up to, right to the bottom of that funnel, that's uh, it was hot. An inch headspace. So now I want to do is just dip my um my little paper towel, clean this off really good because I know I spilled a little bit. Some people um, heat their lids up. This is not necessary for this, so I stick that on there. Remember that the rim, the bands here, only go on finger tight. There we go. And then usually you have to be careful because the water's hot. Uh, right now the water is not. I only got about like two or three inches of water. So I'm safe right now just putting my hand down here. But I would suggest to you to use your little little jar grabber right here. Anyhow, so let's let's move on. So this is this is going to be repetitive. So I'll do another one, and then once they're all done, oh, duh! Once they're all done, then we'll I'll show you what's next. I'm so excited in doing this, guys. This is my first round at this, so I didn't know that you could can butter. Some people say it's not FDA approved, and other people say they've been. Even their grandparents or something canned butter. Or, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't there, but I don't see what it's, it's going to hurt. Not unless the air gets in it or something. Okay, so this is my second one showing you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. And then I'll come back. Finger tight. Stick it in the water. Okay, let me finish this up and I'll be right back at you. Okay, here it is guys. I've got, got it in uh, the pressure canner now. And it's starting to boil here because I had it on medium high. Um, what I'm gonna do now I got out of the uh, six pounds, remember each box is one pound and I use six boxes, I got seven pints of, um, of butter. So and that's pretty good, I think. So, and I had very little, maybe like a tablespoon left over. So now I'm going to go ahead, and y'all know I have trouble with this. <laughs> and I don't know why I cannot get this lid on here. Let me back you up just a little bit. Cause I need all the elbow room I can get because I'm always having trouble with this doggone thing. I know there's a there's a, a way and I've been canning but I don't know why it's just not clicking in my mind. I just don't know. So I know. Remember last time when we were going through this? Did I get it? No. There's supposed to be a mark or something on here, I was told. And I don't know. Sorry about my head, guys. Is it there? No, 
good grief. Let me turn around this way. I probably got it backwards. There it is. Yay, I did have it backwards. So I'm going to close this up. Let me turn this around now because I like to see the gauge. So I'm going to turn it on high right now. And what I'm doing now, before I put my little regulator thing on there, and what you want to do, guys, and I'm sure most of y'all already know this, but I'd rather you know, say it because, like I said, it's not really a tutorial, so don't you know, go, well, Sheila, this is Sheila's way, is how I'm doing it, and hopefully I'm doing it correctly. But anyway, check your also your ball book or your, uh, your canning book when you are pressure canning. Now, with meats and butter, um, we're, the time for it to be pressure canning is 75 minutes, okay? So, right now, what I'm doing is letting the, uh, all the air get out. I've got it on high, and this little uh, spout here, I don't know if you can see it, it's, uh, it's, got, it's already coming out. The steam is coming out. Once that starts on our steady, uh, steady steam is coming out, you want to time it for 10 minutes so right now it is 8 16 so uh, at 8 26 i'm going to put the regulator on here then i will start my timing and also i'm going to find my sweet spot on here because my altitude this is what i was trying to tell you guys with my altitude is 12 pounds of pressure and we don't want to go over it we don't want to fall under it because if we fall under it we got to start all over again so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right the first time because I don't want to keep doing these. So anyway, so I'm gonna let that keep doing this, and I'll come back when it's uh, 26, uh, 26 after eight. I got an early start this morning. So I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. All right, guys. Here it is. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. It's 26 after so this has been going at full steam for 10 minutes so now what i'm going to do is put the little regulator on it remember now i'm going to have 10 pounds excuse me 12 pounds of pressure because of my altitude here so you need to really check your ball canning book or whatever canning book that you have and check to see okay now that's on and this little gauge here will start um, rising up and I'm gonna keep my eye, eye on it until it gets to 12 pounds of pressure at that point I'm going to turn the heat down and um, until yeah you know, once it reaches the 12 pounds of uh, pressure and they call it the sweet spot so like I said you don't want to fall under and you don't want to go way over either so especially depending on your altitude so once that reaches to 12 pounds of pressure. Me turn down the heat and, and make sure regulate it that it stays there at 12 pounds of pressure. Then I'm going to set my timer for 75 minutes. Um, that's what it calls for doing butter, any meat or butter. That's what for for me here with this altitude and stuff. Um, it's 75 minutes at 12 pounds of pressure. Anyway, I'm repeating myself, but anyway, I want to make sure I didn't forget something. Anyway, so it's up at five now. I'm going to go over here and get a bite of my fried bologna sandwich with cheese and lettuce that Mr. went and got. And um, we'll take a bite of that while that's it's getting up to 12 pounds of pressure. And I'll be back in a second. All right, took a bite of my sandwich, came back, and man, it's a good thing I got back here because this gauge was like going on up so I had to slowly let some of the pressure out slowly um, with my little handy dandy knife but and I went ahead and turned my um, my stove down on four for me so I'm watching it so far it's staying at 12 so far um, if it should go start going down I'll turn this up just a smidge and uh, Anyway, so now that it's at 12 pounds, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for 75 minutes. So let's do that. So timer. Let's 
So 75 minutes is what? One hour and 15 minutes. Come on. There's one hour and 15. And go hit start on my timer. So it should, you know, when the time, time is up, it should notify me. I'm still going to be coming back and watching my gauge here again. You don't want to go over, and you surely don't want to go under, because you're going to have to start all over again. I don't want to do that, because I'm going to tell you. Hey, come on, come on up here and let me talk to you with my little, my little bed head look. Oh, Sheila, mercy Jesus. Well, I just didn't feel like washing my hair this morning. I want to get on my butter. I didn't figure y'all care. Y'all my friends anyway, right? Anyway, what was I going to say? You see what happens? I was talking about something. I don't know. I've got it on. Okay, yeah. Timer's on. Keeping my eye on this. It stayed at 12. Yay! Yay! Uh, meanwhile, while you know, the air was going out the little nozzle here, you know, waiting for my 10 minutes, I went ahead and Got my stock pot and filled it up with hot water, soaking water, and I'm gonna, you know, clean that up. And uh, we've got some things to do today. One of them's wash my head, but I don't know. I um, I did get some chicken thighs. Mister went and picked it up yesterday. I like this. I've never done this before, but um, until I got here uh, in the mountains of Virginia. Now, people are ordering, like, the Walmart, your groceries, you know, how much your groceries are going to be. And then you tell them, you know, basically, when you want to pick it up, they give you selections of time. It is easy peasy. I just, I, I wouldn't want to go into Walmart anymore. I mean, if I just want to browse, I ain't got nothing else to do. But, I enjoy just ordering it, and Mr. went and picked it up yesterday while I was getting my hair done. <clears throat> and, uh, I've got some chicken thighs. Prices are going up, guys. Golly. And I said, you better can this while you can. You got an extra dollar um, to get this meat. Let me make sure. Still 12. It's doing good. So, anyway, I'm going to, after this, I do have another pressure canner. I guess I could be doing both, but I really didn't want to because this is my first time doing butter, and I just kind of want all my attention on this butter. But I'll come back when, um, I'm not probably not going to be taking it out of the, uh, yeah, I will, because I want to do the chicken thighs. I was going to just, like, leave it overnight, let it cool, but I think I might have to take it out. Oh, I know what was I going to tell you. Once you take this out, um, now it's going to be hot to touch, but the solids are going to go down to the bottom of the jar. And about every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, what do you want to do? And this is, this is the longest procedure out of all of it because doing this butter was easy because I uh, let it thaw out, um, you know, kind of get soft overnight. Had it in a stock pot with a lid on it so it melted quickly. Um, put it in the jars, easy peasy. Put it in here, easy peasy, 75 minutes. But if I find the sweet, sweet spot, which is still at 12 pounds of pressure, then, um, you know, I've got some other things to do, but the longest thing, I guess, is the shaking of the butter, because like I said, the solids go down to the bottom, so you want to keep that, you know, mixed up as it's cooling. Some people put it in the refrigerator after it cools down enough to put it in the refrigerator and just open the refrigerator door and start shaking up those jars to mix the solids up. And uh, so I'm going to be doing that after we take them out. Uh, I'm going to let it cool for just a little bit. I'll probably take a dish rag or something and just every one, occasionally you know, go and start shaking that stuff up. And um, other than that, I think it's pretty easy peasy, don't you? Anyway, uh, y'all y'all haven't been listening to what I'm saying. I know you haven't. You know what y'all been doing? Y'all been looking at my head. Look at this. This is another wood bird, I guess. Look at this. I told Mr. I said, this morning when I got up, I went to the bathroom, and it was one of those moments again. 
Because I was thinking, I wouldn't be like this because I didn't get that spray wax. But she did put mousse in my hair. So when I went to the bathroom, I was like, I got this hair. So I started laughing at myself. I mean, I just looked, I just stood there for about five minutes looking at my head. There's Mr. He's laughing at me. Look. Oh, he didn't show you his head. He's got a hat on. I could have wore a hat all this time. Scandal. Okay. Twelve. All right. Let me go do some things. You know, I might wash my head in this time, so it's kind of embarrassing, if you know what I mean. Some of you that are first time watching go, would you, come here, honey. Would you come here and look at this woman? Would you look at her head? She gets on here on videos with her head looking like that. Well, I'm in the mountains. Ever see the stories about people go to Walmart in their pajamas and stuff? It wouldn't bother me walking to Walmart like this. Now, used to, it did. Mr. was always telling, one of my, telling my cousin when she was up here, she goes, boy, has she changed. So she wouldn't go out of her the house if her shirt wasn't matching her pants or shorts and then her socks and her shoes. Everything had to be coordinating her earrings. And I was. I was like that. I've changed that. Now. Just be yourself. You know, just be yourself. You look at the heart. I think I got a pretty good heart. I think. I hope I do. Anyway, let me go take care of this. And then when this is done, then uh, me taking it out of the uh, canner. And I'm going to be using my little grabber thing, my little handy dandy grabber thing, because it's going to be hot. And uh, I hope we start hearing the pinging. Ping, 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 ping. Okay, well, I'll be back shortly after I go take care of this. Y'all quit making fun of me. See you in a minute. Okay, I ain't got the bed head now. I had to go wash my head because, like I said, I kind of look like my old wood bird. She got my bangs too short. I don't like, I don't, she does great. I'm just, it's just the perfect. Uh, was it personal preference? I can't talk. Personal preference. I just, I want to just pull them down more. I think it's because when you get older, you know, when you turn to gray and stuff, you look like you ain't got no eyebrows. It looks like I'm like, I just all forehead or something now with my hair like this. Well, I know y'all wondering about the butter. So let me get to it. The butter, I waited until... Uh, after the 75 minutes, I turned the burner off and then waited till the gauge went all the way down to zero. Then I was able to open my my, uh, my pressure canner. Then I put them over here. See there, guys? And uh, they've done their, all their little pinging, but I wanted to show you because they're still kind of on the hot side. Well, let me just grab it with this. So I want to show you. I'll show you a really thick one here. Uh, as you can see, it separates the solids. So now this is already a sealed. So what you got to do is like every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, is that you want to mix this up. You want to shake it. So I'm going to shake it really good so I can get the uh, solids mixed in as well. So then I'll put that back as it's cooling. Now some has more solids in it than others do. So... Anyway, that's like about every 15 minutes or so. And I'm doing it with this towel because it's still a little bit on the warm side to touch. So, anyway. So you want to do that till the solids kind of get mixed in there. And I'm kind of looking. There's some thicker pieces. I should have started um, shaking this up a little bit sooner. You see, sometimes there's some thicker, can y'all see that? Thicker solids. So I kind of want to shake it up really well and get it mixed all in there. But that's what it does. It's stuff. So if you see that, don't worry. 
just keep uh, you know, keep shaking it until it cools and you don't see that solid at the bottom. This one didn't have much in it at all. This, no, maybe it did. I'm just... Okay. So, this one's still kind of uh, starting to settle at the bottom again. And you're not going to be able to stop that. You just have to, as it's cooling, just keep coming by and shaking it. I think this is the uh, longest of the process is shaking these doggone things. Like I said, this is my first time around, but just going by what other people are saying. So, why does that one still look like it's got a lot down there? I don't know. All right, so I'll leave that there for another like 15 minutes and then I'll come back and um, oh, let me get y'all up here a little bit and I'll come back and I'll shake them up again and then when it's all cool then I'm going to store it in a nice cool dark place and because I've pressure canned this uh, what they say is that um, it can last up to five years if you water bath it I think they said might last up to six months but don't hold me to it because I'm not a pro in, excuse me a pro or an expert in this this is my first go around but we did it together guys me and you we did it together and so I'm gonna get off of here and uh, guys I also want to tell y'all thank y'all y'all new subscribers I hit 700 uh, just recently I think I have 706 subscribers now and I want to thank each and every one. I really didn't think anybody would like my channel but y'all have proved me wrong and for whatever reasons that y'all enjoy coming into my home and allow me to come into your home I want to thank you very much. Y'all have really become my friends. Again I tell you that I love all the comments and um, I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things again and um, I pulled up my Starlink um, uh, email and they just shipped it this morning so I'm not sure how many days it's going to take before it gets here but then that's going to save a lot of problems because I was having to uh, let my son uh, upload it for me at his house because he has a faster internet. The internet here, remember I'm in the hills of Virginia, it's slow. It's like dial up dial up uh, service it's just i mean it's creepy crawly slow and uh but anyway hopefully now i can go ahead and upload to youtube anytime day night doesn't matter and then i can get more videos out to you so y'all hold on hold on because like i said there's so much that I want to, to share with you. That's why kind of my videos have kind of been a little bit choppy. Like, okay, we've got this day, this day. Because I can't get them out that fast. So I just try to share as much as I can in one. But I'm hoping that I can get more detail about some of the things. But thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you again. I love you guys. But remember who loves you more. You got it. Jesus. Okay, until the next video. Bye, y'all.